In this video, we want to do a visualization of the Pythagorean trigonometric identity. A quick visualization. In other words, we want to show the truth in sine of x squared plus cosine of x squared being equal to 1. So let's start by looking at the graph for sine of x and comparing that with the graph for cosine of x. We see that when cosine of x is equal to 1, that sine of x is indeed equal to 0. And 0 squared plus 1 squared would be 1, so that would work. And when sine of x is equal to 1, then cosine of x seems to be equal to 0. So again, 1 squared plus 0 squared would be equal to 1. Now look at, let's look at the point where they cross. That looks like they're crossing somewhere around 0.7 or maybe a little bit higher than that. Uh, obviously, if we added up those two values, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7, we wouldn't get 1. But remember, we have to square them. So 0.7 squared would be 0.49, right? And adding to that the other function squared, so 0.7 squared being 0.49 again, we add those two up, 0.49 plus 0.49 is about 1, right? That's about 0.5 plus 0.5. And since we can't be exactly sure of where these are crossing, that seems like that would make sense. But let's now look at the two functions squared. And the picture becomes much clearer. So again, where cosine is at 1, sine is at 0. And where sine is at 1, cosine is at 0. But where they cross now is very clearly 0.5. And all of these values here are higher than 0.5, and all of these values here are lower than 0.5. So it's conceivable that if we added them up, they would add up to 1. So let's actually graph what that would look like. Sine of x squared plus cosine of x squared. And we see that indeed we get the line 1. So that was a visualization of the Pythagorean trigonometric identity. In other words, sine of x squared plus cosine of x squared is equal to 1. 